The Royal Masonic School for Girls is an independent school in Rickmansworth, Hertfordshire, England, with both day and boarding pupils. The school was instituted in 1788, with the aim of maintaining the daughters of indigent Freemasons, unable through death, illness, or incapacitation to support their families. Today, the school accepts the children of both Masons and non-Masons. It began in 1789 with 15 pupils and a matron in Somers Town, St Pancras, Middlesex. During its history, the school has moved between premises three times, twice within London and finally in 1934 to Rickmansworth in Hertfordshire, where it still is today. The school occupies a 316-acre site in Rickmansworth Park. It is a day school for girls 4–18, a boarding school for girls 7–18 and since 2009 also a nursery opened in 2009 for boys and girls aged 2–4. In the beginning In 1788, Bartholomew Ruspini and nine fellow Freemasons met to discuss plans for establishing a charitable institution for the daughters of Masons who had fallen on hard times or whose death had meant hardship for their families. On 14 May 1788, a committee met at the Freemasons Tavern in Great Queen Street to thrash out the details of the proposed institution. An advertisement for the position of matron was put in the papers, and the committee set about finding suitable premises from which their charity could operate. The house at Summers Place East in Summers Town was a suggestion from Dr. de Vallingen, and was taken in October at a rent of £35 per annum to house 15 children. The property has since disappeared but was between the present-day Euston and St. Pancras stations, near where the British Library is today. The original advertisement for the matron read as follows. Twenty replies were received, of which five were shortlisted. The decision was arrived at by means of ballot, and Mrs. Anne Leclerc was duly elected. She is referred to in the minutes of the meeting as a governess, and her address is given as 11 Wells Street, Marylebone. The term, Mrs., was used for single and married women alike, so it is unknown as to whether she was married or not. On 5 January 1789, the children met at Ruspini's house and walked in procession to the house. The ceremonial procession was reported in the Morning Post later to become absorbed by the Daily Telegraph and the Daily Advertiser on Saturday 10 January. The names of the children were listed with their birth and baptismal records. Harriet Ann Vinnett, 17 April 1782 Sarah Jane Sitgraves the 23rd of January 1780 Anne Kane the 27th of November 1780 Margaret Burgess the 8th of August 1781 Catherine Charlotte Baes the 12th of July 1783 Sophia Richards the 14th of April 1780 Mary Ann Rusco the 16th of July 1780 Mary Ann Fisk the 16th of October 1782 Francis Sansom the 25th of December 1780 Sheila Proctor the 20th of January 1779 Mary Ann Wolveridge the 5th of November 1779 Charlotte Richardson the 1st of April 1781 Sophia Cuny the 29th of January 1780 Anne Martin the 17th of July 1781 Elizabeth Lowe the 21st of August 1782 of the 15 Charlotte Richardson was removed from the school by her parents within a couple of months she was replaced by Charlotte Hatton also Mary Bagley had petitioned for a place at the school but had been rejected having been found to be too old the governors, however, decided to keep her on as an assistant servant getting maintenance clothing and her education in return Although called a school, the institution was not what we might call a school until the mid-19th century. In its early stages, it was more of an orphanage, although many of the girls had at least one parent living. At the end of the school life, girls were either returned to the family or supporters known as friends or apprenticed and supported until they could establish themselves. The children could be from any part of the United Kingdom and had to be between the ages of six and nine. They had to be the daughters of Freemasons and were required to be in good health, having already had smallpox or cowpox and 
be free from infirmity of deformity. It is known, however, that Francis Sansom from the first fifteen had only one leg. Topic Location Topic St. George's Fields Although Ruspini and his fellow Freemasons had intended the school to be a permanent establishment, even they had no idea how successful it would be. The house originally intended for 15 girls, a matron and a maid soon became too small with the addition of five new pupils at the end of the first year and a further five after that. By 1790 discussion of finding a bigger site had begun. It was decided that a new building would be built. The place for the new school was St. George's Fields, that is today 28 Westminster Bridge, Road. Topic. Battersea Rise. Clapham J. St. John's Hill, Battersea Rise was the school's third location, although there seems to have been some confusion as to whether the school was in Battersea, Clapham, Wandsworth, or Putney when its address was written down. The girls, however, referred to it as Clapham J in 1853, when the site was purchased, it was because of its wide open aspect and country air, qualities that would later be lost. The school, however, was still expanding, and in 1918, the junior girls moved to a new junior school in Weybridge, Surrey. <laughs> Rickmansworth Park By June 1926, the school was again ready to move, to a site in Rickmansworth standing in 204 acres 0.83 square kilometers of land with a mansion although reports suggest this was in a state of disrepair, to ensure that the site would be suitable for many years to come, a lot of thought was put into the design of the new school buildings, and the following recommendations were made. The buildings should be appropriate for 400 girls. The boarding houses should house 50 girls, with each dormitory sleeping 16. Classrooms should be suitable for classes of 30. There could be a central dining room capable of seating all 400 at one time. That a gymnasium, swimming bath, and chapel were required. John Leopold Denman, an architect from Brighton, won the commission to design the school. Topic: The Weybridge Girls. Originally, RMS Rickmansworth was just for the senior girls aged 12 and above, but in 1973, it was decided that RMS Weybridge, where the junior school was, would move to join their older sisters, forming the combined site that it is today. Topic: History. Topic: Food and clothing We understand far more about nutrition now than was understood when the school began. A diet table was drawn up for the girls that was partly transcribed from other charities and partly based on the observations of Mr. Boys, a governor and surgeon. The diet allowed a ration of 21 halves of a pound of meat per child per week. Below shows the menu for breakfast, dinner, and supper. Sunday rice milk, roast beef, vegetables, bread, bread, butter Monday — water gruel, suet pudding, bread, cheese Tuesday — milk porridge, boiled mutton, vegetables, bread, broth and bread Wednesday — rice milk, suet puddings, potatoes, bread, bread, butter Thursday — water gruel, boiled beef, vegetables, bread, broth and bread Friday — Milk porridge, rice puddings, bread, cheese Saturday — rice and milk, boiled beef, vegetables, bread, broth and bread Topic. The war years Topic. World War I Unlike the Second World War, much of what went on was away from home and life at the school continued pretty much as normal. 
Two exceptions include an incident in 1917 where the school was damaged by anti-aircraft fire, and 1919 when the girls gave up their prizes on prize day so that the money could be given to charity. Topic. World War II In order to protect the girls from the expected aerial bombardment, an air raid shelter had been dug out. This was behind the boarding house formerly known as Ruspini and now known as Alexandra. The shelter was commonly referred to as the trenches and consisted of underground tunnels that zigzagged with a room at intervals for boiling a kettle or dispensing medicines. The tunnels were lined with benches 13 inches 330 millimeters wide and each girl was allocated a place she must find in a raid. They were all kept together in houses, and each section was given a name such as Ruspini Row, Athol Square, Cumberland Place, and Moira Mansions. The girls themselves wanted to play their part and formed their own land army, tending the kitchen gardens at the school to provide fruit and vegetables and helping out with domestic duties. They also adopted three ships, but most notably the Ocean Courier. The girls knitted socks, gloves, and other items which were sent to the ship at Christmas. In return, Captain Crastian, the ship's captain, sent the school 36 pounds of toffee. The captain visited the school, and he and his ship also took part in the action on D-Day, carrying men and munitions. Topic headmasters and mistresses Sarah Louisa Davis, Head Governess, 1861-1896 Emily Redgrave, Head Governess, 1896. Maria Elizabeth Flintoff 1911 Elizabeth Hutchinson, Head Governess Florence Mason, Matron and Headmistress of the Junior School, 1915-1935 Bertha Dean, 1915-1938 Mary Calway, 1938-1940 Audrey E. Fryer, 1941-1959 Una Jessie Campbell, 1959-1972 Miss Jean Thompson, 1972-1980 David Curtis, 1980-1991 Irene Andrews, 1991 to 2001 Diana Rose 2001 to 2017 Kevin Carson 2017 present Topic Film and TV The school has been used as a filming location on a number of occasions for films and television including Raiders of the Lost Ark Supergirl Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade and Me and Orson Welles Others include the children's TV series The Demon Headmaster, Inspector Morse, and EastEnders. It was recently the venue for Skate Camp on CBBC show, Skate Nation and on the Kevin Bishop show for British High School Musical. <laughs> RMS traditions the school badge At each side of the design are two pillars. In the center is a five-pointed star. At the bottom of the new badge, and center of the old badge is the smooth ashlar. At the top of the old badge are the letters RMIG standing for Royal Masonic Institution for Girls. On the new badge is the school motto, Circumornite ut similitudo templi, which is the Vulgate version of a phrase from Psalm chapter 144 verse 12, that our daughters may be as the polished corners of the temple. <laughs> <laughs> school drill The school drill is akin to something expected on an army parade ground. Some of it originates in Swedish drill, and some is based on calisthenics. When exercising began to be incorporated into girls' education there were no trained women PE teachers, so drilling was under the guidance of an army drill instructor. The marching, counter-marching and arm stretches were considered the only exercise suitable for a young lady. Drill was described originally as calisthenics, exercises and marching but no one is entirely sure when school drill began. In an extract from the school magazine Macchio in 1962, school drill is purported to be a hundred years old. There is a reference to it in an account of Prize Day 1876 although it is not referred to as drill. It was performed to music on a piano, later two grand pianos, and consisted of 180 girls the number of degrees in a semicircle. In 1980 the music was recorded and the spoken commands gave way to a whistle. 
the girls learn their positions based on their height, and thus changing from year to year and needing to be re-learned and move in time to the music from one point to the next. The end of the performance is marked by the girls producing the Masonic emblem of set square and compass, and the point, the smallest child in the performance marching forward alone to complete the symbol. Topic. Duos and trios Duos and trios are a tradition upheld at Prize Day. Six pianos in a row are played by either two duos or three trios girls simultaneously. Topic. Ashla The Ashla is the silver badge that all RMS girls strive to achieve by the end of year 11. The award of the Ashla shows that a girl has been recognized for her contribution to school life, her sense of personal responsibility and her responsibility to others. The school motto comes from Psalm chapter 144, that our daughters may be as the polished cornerstones of the temple. Topic. Environment The Royal Masonic School for Girls occupies a site of 315 acres, 1.27 square kilometers, 176 acres, 0.71 square kilometers, of which was once Rickmansworth Deer Park. It is a haven to a wide variety of flora and fauna, almost an island of tranquility within the M25. There are two dells, over 40 feet deep, in which the herd of fallow deer, that were on the estate when it was a deer park, used to be wintered. The dells were originally dug for the limestone that was used as road bottoming. Topic. RMS Today Topic. Curriculum The school follows the UK national curriculum with students taking their GCSEs at age 16 and a levels at 18. Subjects taught include Mathematics English language English literature Physics Chemistry Biology History Geography French German Spanish Chinese Mandarin Latin Classics Art Textiles Technology Home Economics Drama Performing Arts ICT PSE Personal and Social Education PE Religious Studies Music Applied Business Government and Politics Health and Social Psychology and various areas of sport such as Hockey Netball Rounders Tennis Badminton Basketball Fitness Sports Leadership Athletics Football Squash Swimming some of these sports will be played in the winter whilst others are played in the summer. Topic: Extracurricular activities. The Duke of Edinburgh's award. Girl guides. Brownie guides. Young enterprise. Orchestra, Symphonia and RMS Orchestra. Speech and drama. Dancing, music, individual lessons are also available. Fencing, debating, squash, trampolining, badminton, hockey, swimming, science forum, gymnastics, history film club, history society, public speaking, rugby, tag and full contact. Maths Clinic Science Clinic Street Dance Chapel Choir Creative Writing Netball Drill Film Society Theatre Club 
Forum Constante Productions Critical Thinking Kickboxing Club Book Club Art Club Biology Clinic Semitones Aqua Group Manga Club RMS Voices Choro RMS7 Bridge Club Japanese Club Forest School Topic. Religion Although girls of any religion are invited to attend, the school is based upon the Church of England and girls attend chapel assemblies once a week in the afternoon. A chapel service is also held on Sundays for the boarders. Topic. The Old Girls' Prayer Bless O Lord we pray thee, all those who having here been trained in thy faith and fear, have now gone forth to do their duty in the world. Grant them thy grace that they may remember the lessons that they have here been taught, and may never fall away from thy service, but bravely fighting against sin, the world and the devil, may continue faithful unto death and so at length receive the crown of life, through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. The words originally read, manfully fighting against sin, but were changed to, bravely fighting against sin. Topic. Notable former pupils Amelia Warner, actress Wendy Richard, actress